What's up everyone? Got another video for today. We're gonna be talking about ant hills, how to take care of that, as well as grub problems. I just poked those little guys. Look at them coming out. So I've got little tiny ant hills like this dotted all over the lawn, so I gotta take care of that. Also had some significant grub damage back along this side of the house last year, so I'm gonna try to take care of that preventatively. There's a couple different products for that I'm going to show you. Last year I did a broadcast application of Bifenthrin, or Bifen IT, and that was the active ingredient of Bifenthrin is a broad spectrum insecticide that kills about 75 different targeted species, and it's good for, you know, just around the foundations and stuff. Sometimes I'll occasionally spray a border on the house, and it's good for mosquito treatments as well in trees because I have a liquid application for it. and I just use my sprayer and I just target it up along the leaves and stuff like that. But for grubs especially, I decided to go with a granular this year. So this is a different ingredient than bifenthrin. This is, uh, if I can even pronounce that, gamma cyhalothrin. It's only 0.05%. It's very, very low use rate, but it says that it covers 12,500 square feet. However, a little bit misleading make sure you read the label because this is at a 0.8 pound per thousand square foot application rate now if we flip this over look at the insects that we're going to be targeting they have a low usage rate of 0.8 pounds per thousand for just a band treatment around the house or overall lawn treatment. This is for ants, army worms, crickets, a uh, whole bunch of different stuff, earwigs, fleas, grasshoppers, Japanese beetles, pill bugs, a bunch of different stuff listed. I'm going to be going with the 1.2 pounds per thousand square feet, which also includes control of grubs, and that is the big thing that I want to target. So I'm going to go a little heavier than 0.8. I'm going to do 1.2. Let's refer to the spreader setting chart here. This should be on every bag of product that you buy, whether it's the Spectricide brand or Scott's Grub X, what have you. Let's find our brand here. I've got an Edge Guard 0.8 usage rate is 2.5. 1.2 is 3.5. I've noticed my spreader puts out a little heavier than I would like it to on these numbers, so I'm going to start instead of 3.5. We're going to go with a 3, and we'll just split the difference. So, like I showed you before, we do it in a grid pattern. We walk this way in the lawn, and we walk that way in the lawn. And it should even tell you how to actually spread it here as well. So, um, you guys have seen me do spreading products before. Just check out some of my previous videos. It tells you back here when to apply it for grubs and everything else. A lot of these over overlap. You can apply ants all year long. We are in early June, so we're a little early for the grub control, but this should get us, I don't know, maybe 60 days of application or protection. It does have to be watered in. Do not apply more than six times per year at the low usage rate. Do not apply more than three times at the high rate. And it has to be watered in afterwards. Luckily, it's about to rain, so I'm not going to waste much more time talking. I'm just gonna get this in the spreader and we are gonna go for it. So I will update this video again in about a week. We'll take a look at those ants again and see if it made any sort of noticeable improvement. So I just want to point out the high use is for season long ant control at two pounds per 1,000. I'm not going that high, I'm going 1.2. So I should be able to do maybe five applications per year, so it's not real clear on the bag, but here we go. dump the whole thing in because we're going to have to use it across the backyard too, so let's have at it.
I think I'm just over halfway here. I went back and forth in a grid pattern, as you just saw this way and then that way. And that was about 5,000 square feet. So I think I'm a little off target. I may bump this up to three and a half to finish the application and do the backyard at that rate. So like I said, guys, you gotta kinda have to play with your setter, spreader settings a little bit and try to get it finely tuned because it's not always gonna be exactly what's on the bag. I always start low and work your way up. So guys, I'll do an update on the results of this and about a week or two, we'll see if I have time. If you've got any questions, leave them below. Be sure to hit subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.